we did the first movie, we were 19 years old, and now we're 25. So, with that being said, you grow a lot in, in those years, and um, I've learned a lot, and so has MJ. <laughs> and, um, and and she's always, a, you know, a little bit of a part of me, you know? I mean, whew, what is there not to expect, right? I mean, there's so much that I can't say, obviously, because I don't want to spoil anything. I want people to enjoy it um, and go out and see it for the first time for themselves. But I will say that, you know, the concept alone of the multiverse, the idea that there's now infinite possibilities, the idea that there's a world where villains from movies that I grew up watching, I get to watch my Spider-Man fight them. It's just insane. So um, I still can't believe it's real. I can't believe they pulled it off, but here we are. Not only are the villains cool because they're the villains that we grew up with, but they're also iconic actors and legends in their own respect and people who I would love to share the screen with anyway. So that's beyond. Um, and then on top of that, uh, we have Doctor Strange, um, which which has been which was so cool. Benedict is so lovely, and I actually have a picture of him skateboarding around set between between. Um, between setups and he was so lovely to work with. I think it really is, it's bringing generations together. I mean, I um, I saw their first film when I was like six, you know what I mean? So if you are a fan of those films, I think this is all kind of playing tribute to, to those films and to those villains who we love so much um, and bringing them into our current <laughs> universe, the MCU, which we've all kind of wanted to see, and at least I know about I've wanted to see. It's definitely satisfying for me as a fan of these films. So, you know, it's literally for the whole family. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm learning from Peter Parker, and sometimes I feel like Peter Parker is learning from me. In this third film, his identity is revealed to the world, and he becomes the most famous person on the planet. Not saying that I'm the most famous person on the planet, but I know what it's like to deal with fame, so he's learned from me. Um, you know, the previous two films, he is such a, he has such great humility, and I've learned a lot from him. It's amazing. Benedict is a good friend of mine. I've worked with him a whole bunch of times on different projects. So to do it on a Spider-Man movie with Doctor Strange, obviously Benedict, is fantastic and a real pleasure. It was very overwhelming, exciting and nerve-wracking, uh, but overall overwhelming. But those guys were so wonderful, so friendly, so kind. Uh, obviously very talented actors and bring their own process and vibe to the set, which is really fun. Uh, but you know, for us as young kids that grew up loving all of those movies, both Rabies movies and Webb's movies, uh, it was really nice to share the screen with them. I mean, something they've never seen before. Uh, action sequences that will surpass any Spider-Man movie we've seen in the past. Um, I think the stakes and the emotion. This film feels very grounded while also maintaining that fantastical element that superhero films have. And also it's really fun. It's funny. I think it's the funniest one we've made. You know, Jamie Foxx, has one of the funniest scenes in any Marvel movie in this film and it is essentially taking the piss out of all superhero films and I love it. It's excellent. Christmas is about being with family, about being with friends and the Spider-Man crew are a family and you can really feel that when you watch the film so I think it's a lovely film to sit down with your family and be a part of our family so we welcome everyone to come to the theatre if you feel comfortable and if you feel safe uh, and we'll see you in there. Maybe. We'll see. I would. I love this character more than anything. This character has changed my life. I have a relationship with my fans that is so wonderful. I couldn't ask for it to be any better. But I want to do what's best for the character. If it's time for me to step down and the next person to step up, I'll do so proudly. You know, I'd love to see a more diverse Spider-Man universe, which would be really exciting. If I could be a part of that, if I could be the Iron Man to the next young Spider-Man or Spider-Woman, that'd be great. But at the moment, all I have to think about is the character and what's best for Peter Parker. I think people think we're lying when we say that, but we really don't have any idea what the future uh, of Spider-Man is. And I think he's, um, he's down for whatever is best for Spider-Man. And he says it all the time, but he's like, if it's, if it's me, if it's someone else, if it's whatever, you know, he just wants what's best for, uh, for the future of Spider-Man. Yes. There she is, looking beautiful, might I add. 
as ever. As ever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she's also seems to be really wise. I don't know. Very wise. She's like an owl. She's like a wise owl. The biggest way is just companionship, you know, like two friends coming together, like experiencing this world, going through the same problems at the same times, having a shoulder to cry on. Uh, has been a huge thing for the pair of us and with Jacob as well you know we really are a family and you know becoming famous at the age of 19 but this is a different kind of fame you know there's there's not a corner of the world that Spider-Man hasn't touched so you know it's a lot to take in so it's really nice for me to have you know a family to share that with I think one is just by supporting, you know, just being there. I think sometimes you just have to be a, a person to vent to, <laughs> someone to uh, to just be there and listen. Um, and another thing is, like, I was lucky enough to where my life didn't change overnight. I, I, I started when I was young, and so it was kind of like a slow, a slow progression, you know? Um, so I kind of got to learn it as I went and figure it out and get my, my footing a little bit, whereas I think for him... It was so much all at once because when you're Spider-Man, that's kind of how it works. It's like you're Spider-Man and your life changes, um, much like this this, this movie. So um, I have a, an extreme amount of empathy for that. So anything that I learned or have learned or continue to learn, I share with him. And anything he learns, he shares with me. Right. Well, is this human stealing a star you? Listen, he's a very stylish man. So stealing his style is not the worst thing in the world. The glasses, the suit, the hair, the whole thing. You know, listen, I love him to bits. He's a lovely guy. He's been a great role model to me for over the last few years. So I, uh, hello. Hello. So I, um, yeah, definitely stealing his style, shamelessly. You are, bro. Wonderful working with Jacob has been fantastic. You know the Jake Gyllenhaal, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans. The list is on, goes on and on and on. But you know Zendaya and Jacob especially are you know my family, and I love them to bits. And you know I'm very very lucky to have worked with them both. I mean, one of the most special parts of all of this is the fact that I got to meet Tom Holland. <laughs> um, so um, I'm incredibly forever grateful to Spider-Man for, for that. Um, and he's obviously very talented and a lovely person, and I couldn't imagine anyone else um, being our Spider-Man because he deserves it, but he's also really great at it. <laughs> um, so, no, I, I mean, being able to share this, to grow up beside each other has been... And awesome. I love it.